Hey, hey everybody, Tim here, Overlanding for Fun, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to go ahead and install the 12 inch screen protector that I purchased for my Bronco from the OCDplug.com store. Now, in addition to the 12 inch screen protector, they also have an 8 inch one that can be used in the Bronco and the Bronco Sport. And I'm sure like most people, I like to save a few bucks, so I did reach out to them to see if there was a discount code that I could include with this video, and they were gracious enough to send me one. So check out the links below in the description for both the 8 inch and the 12 inch screen protector and the discount code that they included for this. So in the words of a wise Bronco owner, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, to get started, the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, just go ahead and lay out that towel down here to just really catch any moisture that falls off, off the screen. Once that's set, let's go ahead and take the... Uh, alcohol wipe and open it up. And then we just want to go through and wipe the screen. Make sure we get all the fingerprints and any oils and anything that might have accumulated. Make sure you get the kind of the edges here. Okay, set that there. And go ahead and use the microfiber towel. And we want to go ahead and make sure we clean it really good. Now, when you look at the uh, screen protector, there's two sides. There's this protective backing side that have the, the label on it. And it's a little bit larger than the actual screen protector itself. And so you'll want to be very careful at this point. Uh, some of the things I would, I would do to make sure first, uh, first thing I would do is that plastic card that you get that you're using as a squeegee. Just run your finger over there. Just make sure there's no sharp or jagged edges on there. You could scratch the display with that. So make sure that it's clean too. I want to the uh, first thing you want to do is go ahead and take your applicator and spray a light mist over the screen. Make sure you get all the areas. And it doesn't take a whole lot, but just enough to get it wet. And I would also recommend actually getting a little bit of water on your fingertips. That'll help to keep you from sticking to the adhesive. To do is go ahead and spray a little bit of the soap and water mixture on the adhesive side of the screen. And carefully Go 
Okay, that was not moving very well for me. I don't think I got enough soapy water on there. Let's go ahead and try that again. Okay, so I, uh, got pretty lucky with this. Actually, I almost laid out exactly where it needs to go. Um, you can spray the outside of that and also spray your card, too. And, and then really what you want to do is just kind of use that card. You're going to push the screen protector. both directions and what that's going to do is that's going to help push the water out to the edges that you used. When you first put this in. Now, as a side note, you're not going to possibly get all the water out and that's okay. That will dry over time after a couple days and a lot of it depends on the weather. Or part of the reason I'm doing this in the garage right now is because it's the winter time here in Indiana and uh, it, it was probably in the 40s outside so um, I want to use some of the extra added heat of the garage to kind of help do that now the other thing that could pose a problem but it's not a big deal is that when there's water behind the display and the uh, screen protector, you might uh, not work for a little bit as that needs to, to kind of dry out. That water basically interrupts the flow of the, of the touch sensor, uh, but not a big deal. Like I said, that'll, that'll go away after, after most of the water dries underneath. So that's it in a nutshell. Like I said, uh, they have pretty good support uh, on their on their site and uh, if you have any questions or anything I'll do my best to help you out go ahead and leave that in the comment section below so it's been a couple days since we've installed the screen protector and as you can tell you can't even see that it's on there now there were a couple bubbles that were still left underneath the, the thing that will work themselves out over time so if you like this content please uh, like and share this video and I'd greatly appreciate that and thank you for sticking around through the entire video and hopefully we will catch you on the trail someday Tim out.